everyone and welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. Today I'm going to be doing another response to John over at Thrifty Kniffy's open tag and that is Super Sack Saturday. Pretty straightforward, really just want to see a Swiss Army knife on a Saturday. Today we're going to be taking a look at one from Victorinox. So this one comes in their standard sort of cardboard box. You can see you've got the Victorinox crest here, their logo or their text underneath. Victorinox since 1884. This one was picked up from Heine Haynes. You can see we're looking at the Victorinox Fisherman, got the barcode details there, blank on this side, address on this side, and then you can see the model number, which is 1.4733.72, and that is the Fisherman in the red cellador. Inside the box, along with the knife, then you do get the standard sort of instruction manual, which pretty straightforward, really not going to go into too much detail with it, it's just some maintenance guide, things like that, how the tools work, just the standard sort of thing you get with most models. So we'll just pop that to one side. So here it is, the Fisherman. This is a 91 millimeter model, which equates to about, where are we? One, two, three, 3.6 inches closed. And you can notice something right off the bat with the Fisherman model. They do have this really nice sort of fish in, in like um, little shield on there, along with the Victorinox shield at the top here. You can see that's wonderfully done. I can't tell whether this is inlaid or if it's just printed on there. If it is inlaid, it's very, very smooth. The shield, of course, is inlaid as normal, nothing different there. A really vibrant red of the red cellador. But look at the detail they put into that shield on the fisherman, isn't that great? The scales on there, the fins, the little eye, the mouth. Really do like that. Now, I have done a review of one similar to this, and that was the angler. There's a couple of differences. Uh, main difference really is the angler has pliers and this has scissors. That's pretty much it really. I don't think there's much much else different, but we'll have a walk through this one. So on the front then we have the normal tool scales. So we have tweezers on the front here. On the back we have the toothpick. We'll start with the back tools for a change. So we have the key ring. We have the punch or the awl blade. Nice little sharp surface there, not razor sharp to cut yourself, but sharp enough to punch through leather. And of course the sewing eye on there as well. We also have the parcel hook or multi-purpose hook. And then we also have the 3D Phillips driver on the back there as well. You get some great torque on that when you're doing, pack, when you're doing screws with this one. Only downside is, is, you know, the reach is quite small and you can't get in tight spaces, but... Any sort of open screws, you can get a lot of torque on with this. You can grab the whole Swiss Army knife and use it that way. On to the front then, we have the standard opening layer. You can see we have the tin opener. We've got the smaller flathead screwdriver. You can use the corner as a number two Phillips as well, I believe. No half stop on that. Nice clean nail nick and on that sort of tumbled polished finish. Take a look around that, you can see the edge there on the cap lift, on the, sorry, on the tin opener. Nice and sharp, pierce through a tin really well and these work fantastically. Left hand side then we have the can opener, of course that is on a half stop, the only tool with that. We have the wire bender, cap lifter, larger flathead screwdriver which you can use the corner again as a Phillips. That also has a nail neck and the same tumbled finish. Really nice snap for that on the open. Could also use that pry if you want to. You can see you've got the slope down here. Wouldn't put too much torque on it though, but it is only pinned together. You don't want to loosen it up or give it any wobble. But for light prying tasks, I definitely use that. I have used other Victorinox models and not caused any sort of play or anything like that. Really nice snap on that tool. As much as I love the half stop on this, I do prefer the older models before they had that. So I wish they would go back to just having a cam tang and no half stop. But, you know, it's not going to stop me buying them. Next up, we have the full-size scissors. And tell us it's a new model as well. By they are pinned with a little brass, little brass pivot. Older models were screwed, but this one is pinned. Downside of the screwed ones on the older ones is they would work themselves out unless you put a little bit of something to hold it just over the over the edge without it tightening up. But these ones don't work themselves open, so they're great. Original style sort of leaf spring design. Fantastic, it's not changed in years and years and it works fantastically well. Scissors, again, fantastic tool to have on any Swiss Army knife. Pretty much a must for most of my carries to have scissors on them. 
Next up, we have the fish scaler, we have the hook tool, and then a little bit of measurements on the side here. So you've got uh, zero to seven centimeters, and then you've got uh, zero to three inches there. If you bone it down the 90 degree angle, you can just about make out the three there in the top corner. And of course, you can see the fish scaler a bit better this side. Of course, the hook tool for removing hooks from the fish's mouth. No halves up on that, just a really nice smooth action. Next up, we have the main blade. See the edge grind on there, perfect as you'd expect from Victorinox. I won't accept anything less than perfect on their edges. I've been, they've set a standard with everything I bought so far that it's pretty much perfect or as close to perfect as it's ever going to get. So I wouldn't expect anything less from them. So you've got a nice clean nail neck there, no swedging, just a really nice working blade. We also have the Victorinox Swiss made stainless tang stamp. And on the back there, you have Officer Swiss. That sort of tumbled polished finish again. You can just about make out the tumbled lines in there. Quite hard to see. Let me wipe it with a cloth to so make it a bit easier. There you go. You can just about make out the tumbled lines. Quite hard with the glare. So. Nice little sharpening toil down there as well. And the thing I love about the Victorinox blades is they're about a five till you get to here. And then it gets to about six and then a seven right about the sort of 45 degrees from open and then it's about a seven on the break it's just a they do it so well i wish other companies can do it it's easy to open but then harder to close but full size main blade then for an into one millimeter equates to tip to tang of what we got one two 2.6 2.7 inches tip to tang cutting edge of one to 2.3 so UK legal, because it's non-locking, less than three inches, pretty much world legal as well. I don't know any places where a Swiss Army knife isn't legal. We have a little pen blade on there too. Uh, full blade length of that then is one 1.6 and a cutting edge of just shy of 1.5. You see the edge grind on there is pretty perfect too. I mean, it always is with Victorinox. Nice little sharpening choil, nice clean nail nick on there as well. Quite thin this blade, great for opening packages. Great action as well. About five there into about six, maybe a seven max on the fully open. Overall, a really great design. One I've been, I should have really picked up a while ago. I just never really got round to it. I got the angler and just thought, oh, that one will be okay. But now I've got to the point where I kind of want them all. So, yeah. But well, there we go, guys. That's my review of the Victorinox Fisherman. I'll just give you that model number one more time. 1.4733.72. Really hope you enjoyed this review. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.